watching News 10 Today. Good morning, everyone. We're getting right to it this morning with breaking news. Right now, crews are still on the scene of a house fire on Lansing's north side. They have been dead. We want to show you live pictures of Round Rock, Texas, where police are giving an update to the media right now. Let's listen in. Compliance with departmental policy, there will be a concurrent. And we are just hearing now, is that correct, Kyle? Okay, this is a tragic update to this mm -hmm. story. 11 people. 11 people have been killed in this shooting. It was college night at the Borderline Bar and Grill. 11 people have now been confirmed, and at least a dozen people hurt. 11 now killed in this shooting at this bar and grill in Ventura County, California. Witnesses say a man fired several shots. Um, it was college night at this crowded bar, at least 200 people, local media reporting were there. Uh, this is in Ventura County. We, of course, will continue to follow this very tragic story. Uh, this information coming in right now during this latest news conference. Let, let's go back and listen in if we can, just for a moment. You've been watching a news conference out of Southern California where NBC News is now reporting 12 dead at the Borderline Bar and Grill. Um, what a tragic update to the story. The, sus the suspect also among the dead and a Ventura County Sheriff's officer also among the dead. Mm. A Florida man says he is planning on going hang gliding again, even though he could have died his first time. That's because the pilot forgot to strap him in. Take a look at this. Wow. It's horrifying. Oh. His name's Chris Gersky. He is hundreds of feet in the air in Switzerland. It was all captured on a GoPro. Immediately after takeoff, you can see him dangling from a control bar and the pilot's leg. He ended up holding on for over two minutes. Look at this. The pilot held his harness with one hand and steered with the left. Watch him fall off. He hit the ground going 45 miles per hour, breaking his wrist and tearing a muscle. I wonder if he gets a refund. That's all I want to know. <laughs> Burning this morning. Yeah, the visit comes as the death toll rises, and now a utility company is being blamed for causing that state's most destructive wildfire ever. Right now, the campfire burning in Northern California has killed at least 48 people and has destroyed more than 8,800 structures. So far, it has destroyed at least 130,000 acres and is still growing. To give you some perspective, that would be the equivalent of about one third of Ingham County gone charred. Hundreds of people still missing. All right, so normally when we think of a baby gender reveal party, we picture cute balloons or some surprises. Well, one man ended up causing a massive fire during his baby's gender reveal party. His name is Dennis Dickey. He shot a rifle at a target that was filled with explosive materials. That led to a 47,000 acre wildfire in Arizona. Take a look at the video of this explosion. He shoots Watch there, look at that. The fire then immediately breaks out following the blast. He reported the fire to authorities. It caused $8 million in damages. He was sentenced in federal court in October. In addition to fines, he is on probation for the next five years and must help the government advocate on fire safety. It was a boy, by the way. All 125 women and girls who have filed reports about Nasser with police have been given the chance to give impact statements at his sentencing this week. Court officials say 98 of them plan to do so, either in person or through submitted written statements. Judge Aquilina will hand down the final sentence for Nasser at a hearing as it wraps up this week. He pleaded guilty to seven counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct last fall. The agreement calls for Nasser to get a minimum of 25 years in prison. Several victims have asked him to be sentenced to the maximum of 125 years behind bars. Judge Aquilina herself had some strong words for Nasser in court. And good morning. We've been tracking the snow and the storm all weekend and right on schedule. It arrived this morning. This is a live look at your Monday morning right now. The snow has caused several schools to close. You can see a growing list at the bottom of your screen as well as on the WILX app right now. Our weather authority team has complete coverage of our first winter storm of the season. On the road, in the field, and in the weather center, we are your weather authority this morning. Good morning, I'm Kylie Kahn. And I'm Kirk Montgomery. We'll want to get right to Darren again. And Darren, you called it. It's here right on schedule. The snow continues to fall. Uh, 